Hi, my name's Christy and this is Lazy Owl's booktube channel. Today I'm going to do for you a wrap up for March 2020 and let you know what I read, what my top picks were and also some things that are going on right now which some of you may or may not be aware of. So first off, um, I will let you know that there won't be any new single issue comics for a while coming out and the reason for that is the major distributor of comics has put all printing of new comic issues on hold uh, due to the coronavirus outbreak across the world. So this means that we're all going to have to get our comic fix in other ways so we'll have to um, borrow back and steal some older issues or do some rereads of some comics that we all know and love and we're just going to have to get our comic fixed that way so if you've got any recommendations of some comics that you really love please let me know because I'd love some great ideas of some comics to get into whilst these single issue comics are not coming out for a while so with that in mind uh, Free Comic Book Day has also been cancelled for May, so that was due to be held in May this year. Um, free Comic Book Day is a day where there's a whole heap of free comic books that are released and you can go and get your hands on some free comics to try out on Free Comic Book Day. So unfortunately that one is not going ahead either, which uh, is a bit of a disappointment but it is what it is and there's more important things going on in the world at the moment um, and we can still enjoy comics and, and still get our hands on some comics in other ways so we've just got to look that to look forward to next year uh, when free comic book day comes around to next year hopefully so uh, so I'll just go through with you my wrap up for this month. So I didn't read a lot of uh, novels this month, I only read three novels. So I read um, Lainey Taylor's uh, second and third book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. So you may have seen my earlier video that where I've done a review of the first book and so I read the second and the third books uh, this month. Uh, the other book that I read this month is Gideon the Ninth. Uh, so that one is by Tamsin Moore. So that's that one here. And uh, so those were the three novels that I read this month. So I would have to say my top picks for the month, it's pretty hard to pick because I didn't read that many, it's a bit of a slow month in terms of novels, but I did really enjoy um, all of those books. Maybe not as much as I possibly could have, I feel like I'm in a bit of a reading slump at the moment when it comes to novels. It's quite difficult to keep my mind on on reading I get my mind keeps drifting and I keep having to reread chapters over and over again because I'm just not retaining the information so I did really enjoy getting the ninth uh, maybe not as much as some other I've seen a lot of other reviews where people have really loved it and I think partly that may be due to the fact that I'm just having a reading slump at the moment because I felt like it was a good book. I did lose track of some of the story time storyline at times but I think that is due to the fact that I'm just a bit distracted at the moment. So to give you um, a, a bit of a background, so Gideon the Ninth is about, uh, it's it's a bit of a mishmash of genres so you could call it sci-fi you could call it a bit of a mystery and there's a bit of fantasy element thrown in there as well so there is really some good uh, plot points in 
in this book to make for a really really good book and as I said there's been quite a few really good reviews of that so I guess my top pick for this month would probably be I would still say the third book of uh, Lainey Taylor's The Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy so um, I won't say too much about that one because it is the third book and I don't want to give away any spoilers um, in related to that but that one is kind of a supernatural fantasy theme uh, book and really enjoyed that which you may have seen in some of my other videos that I've talked a little bit about that so this month I guess my main reading focused around reading a lot of graphic novels and comics so the comics that I read uh, this month I'll just go through with you now so the single issue comics I read uh, a few new comics this month that have just come out and uh, I guess it's a little bit disappointing because I've read issue one of a few of these and I and obviously with comics put on hold I'm going to be waiting a while to see the later issues of these comics and there were a few good ones in there so I hope that they do continue on later when uh, comics get printed again so I hope sooner rather than later so Mercy by Andolfo Merca um, I read Dryad by Curtis Weeb so they were both uh, first issue comics I read The Marked issue 5 by David Hine Family Tree issue 1 by Jeff Lemire I read issue 1 of Strange Academy and that's by Scotty Young I read issue 1 of Decorum and that's by Jonathan Hickman I read Issue 1 of Strange Adventures by Tom King and I read Issue 9 of Ghosted in LA and that's by Cena Grace and I read uh, Issue 4 I think it was of Red Mother and that's by Jeremy Horn. So my top pick out of the single issue comics this month would have to be Mercy by Andolfo Merca. I just really loved the artwork in that particular comic and I've, it had a bit of a mystery fantasy slash supernatural slash mystery theme to it. Um, and right at the end of that particular comic there was a bit of a teaser and it really got me hooked and I wanted to read on to the next issue so I do hope that they continue on with that when comics start printing again. Um, the second top pick for the month which came in as a close second would be Strange Adventures which I was surprised by because I haven't read any DC comics before. This is my first DC comic so I really enjoyed that it was a little bit of a different take on a superhero type comic so um, it focuses on a man who has been on another planet and he's supposedly a hero and then he gets accused of war crimes so that one was quite interesting and that would be my next top pick uh, for the month so those were my top picks for uh, the, the single issue comics. Probably my least favourite uh, out of the single issues would be The Marked. Uh, that just fell short, that series, but all the other ones that I read I really enjoyed and are right up there. So I just wanted to let you know as well, um, although I finished reading Noman Omen issue 5 prior to this month, the trade paperback is out of that one. So there's, I've got issues 1 to 5 and I'll just show them to you now. So these are Noman Omen and the volume 1 is out now so you can get your hands on that 
I hopefully if you're lucky your comic book store might have a copy otherwise um, you should be able to get one on Cosmixology and Amazon should also have volume one available so this was really interesting and if you are not into getting single issue comics but you're into getting the graphic novels or rather the trade paperbacks definitely get your hands on this it was really really interesting a uh, bit of a supernatural slash fantasy um, slash there's some Roman gods type feel element to it and um, I did kind of have to go back and reread the, some of the early comics because I couldn't remember what was going on um, with reading them issue by single issue so I think it would actually translate very well in a trade paperback um, so that you can just keep reading so I'm really looking forward to more of these coming out and if this sounds like it interests you then get your hands on that the artwork in this is really really great and the coloring um, of these I really really love as well it just adds to that feel of there's something magical there's something supernatural going on and so it focuses on this one girl and she doesn't see in color she sees in black and white but then these magical things start happening she starts seeing these things and she starts seeing them in color and you can tell when something more is going on when you start to see the coloring coming out in the in the panels um, of these comics so yeah if you want to get your hands on that give them a go I highly recommend so the graphic novels um, that I read this month were Monstrous Volumes 1 to 4 by Marjorie Liu. I'm not sure if you pronounce it that way. Um, I also read Gwenpool Volumes 3 and 5 by Christopher Hastings. I didn't read them in order because I got them from my library and that's just when they came in. I absolutely love Gwenpool so that was a good um, escape for me this month. I read Volume 6 of Descender by Jeff Lemire, Volume 9 of Giant Days by John Allison, I read Unnatural Volume 1 by Merca Andolfo, Oblivion Song Volume 2 by Robert Kirkman and Blackbird Volume 1 by Sam Humphreys. So I'd say my top pick of graphic novels that I read this month would be Gwenpool definitely just because the humor I needed something easy to read I needed something that didn't take a bit too much mental power and I needed just a bit of escapism um, as I'm sure everyone is needing right now um, so my other top pick would definitely be the monstrous volumes if only for the not just the artwork but the storyline as well but the artwork in those is absolutely amazing and you just spend so long just looking at the panels um, even after you've read the dialogue because it's just the artwork in that is absolutely brilliant so these uh, graphic novels that I have read this month are all graphic novels that have been out for quite some time. So anyone should be able to get their hands on them in some shape or form, hopefully. So you should be able to get them if your libraries are still open from the library or from Amazon or your local comic book store might have a copy of them in stock, which would be awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much my picks of the month so just to recap so my top pick for novel would be the third book of Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor my top pick for single issue comics was Mercy by Andolfo Merca and my top pick for the graphic novels this month was Gwenpool and Monstrous so I really really enjoyed all of those but I did have a really good month uh, with graphic novels 
I enjoyed all of them immensely and um, I've got a few more to read in the month of April so uh, I'll be sharing those with you at the end of April. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed hearing about what I've read this month. If you've been reading some graphic novels, please comment below and let me know. I'm always interested in hearing what other people are reading. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and please hit the bell icon if you'd like to know when I'm posting videos. Thank you once again for watching my video and keep well and I'll talk to you next time.